Hi, I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of Preferred Pain Center here in Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. Today I'm at the Scottsdale TPC Golf Course, which was built back in 1986 to be the home of the Phoenix Open, and it has done that for the last 25 years. It's now called the Waste Management Phoenix Open. The course was designed by Tom Weisskopf, a very famous designer of um, golf courses, and it was built specifically to, to be able to accommodate a huge amount of spectators and it does just that. 500,000 people a year come to the event, the most of any PGA Tour event in the country. Um, and most of those end up at the 16th hole, which uh, we're actually on the second hole today because six, there's play going on. I couldn't stand right in the middle of that, you know. So anyway, the 16th hole is a par three. There's bleachers on one side and corporate tents and, and um, on the other. and. Uh, spectators actually boo and cheer and jeer and heckle the golfers, which you won't see that pretty much anywhere else in the country. It's, uh, it's funny. They'll actually look up where the golfer went to school or what their pet's names are, you know, if they're married, and they'll actually yell things out that are hilarious. So well worth the uh, 10, 20 bucks, whatever it is, to come on out. It's actually open to uh, public play as well, um, and it's a nice, very, very nice course, par 71. Uh, ecologically preserved. The Audubon Society has certified it. Anyway, the topic for today is transforaminal epidural steroid injections. There's some new research that has come out regarding those injections that gives us some insight into what they work well for and what they don't work well for. So epidural steroid injections overall have been shown to have about a 75 percent good to excellent result for patients su suffering um, from sciatica, which is pain that goes down one or both legs, from nerve root being compressed and pinched. Um, it's also called radiculopathy. So they do work well. They don't fix the problem. They're not going to make the compression go away, but they can put a huge band-aid on it. You know, steroids can be injected and it can sort of bathe that nerve root, which has inflammation all around it, knock out that inflammation and deaden pain. It's often done in a series of one, two, or three injections, and you can do a series every few months. Well, the new research was very, it was fascinating, because what it showed is that transforaminal injections, which is where the needle doesn't just go around the spinal cord itself, it actually goes out farther where the nerve root is being compressed. So it goes out the foramen and gets the, the steroid closer to where the pinching is. But what it showed is that if a patient has mild to moderate compression from a disc herniation, the transforaminal epidural injection worked wonderfully. You got that 75% relief in patients. But if there was severe compression, meaning big piece of nerve, uh, disc herniation pushing on the nerve root, it actually only got a 26% effectiveness, a good to excellent result. Why the 50% difference? Well, then it became a theory, and they couldn't say definitively, here's why the difference between the 75% and 26%, but the theory was that if it's being pushed on by that big of a disc herniation, it's not giving it the chance to spark up an inflammatory reaction. So the steroid, which is a big anti-inflammatory, didn't work as well. So it's the mild to moderate ones that worked really well, and the severe one did not work nearly as well. So some interesting new research that came out. Um, we do at Preferred Pain Center, our pain doctors do all the different types of interventional treatments for pain, whether it's epidural injections, facet blocks, also spinal cord stimulators. It's all on our website at preferredpaincenter.com. There's also the blog of pain on there. We we'll guarantee you we'll see you within 24 hours on our rehab side to get you your intake and get your treatment started. We also have free massages for first-time pain patients. Um, so give us a call today at 602-507-6550. I'm Dr. David Green, Preferred Pain Center. Your pain stops here.